the seven imperatives are actually practical steps as well as sources of ideas. The first imperative is to understand the vision and values of the family. This means understanding its past as a family and as investors, and its philosophy of wealth toward the future. So the first step is understanding the point of departure, if you would, what the family believe and what, they, what they're looking to, looking to accomplish over the longer term. The second thing is to put in place a framework and a disciplined process so that those objectives, whatever they can be, are captured in a thorough approach, which is both structure and process. So a framework and a disciplined approach to investment are important. The third step is actually understanding the long-term strategy. What is the family's philosophy with regard to alternative assets, fixed income, risk? What are the basic approaches that a family is going to take for its long-term strategy. The fourth step is then to capture that long-term strategy in an immediate set of action steps. And, and that's an investment policy statement, which is an annual plan with very specific asset allocations, selections of, of managers and investments, reasons for the approach to risk management, an understanding of the likely economic context, and a translation of the first step of vision and values through the second step, a framework and discipline investment process, through the third step, which is the long-term strategy development captured in a long-term strategy document, into that practical action plan, the investment policy statement, which is specific to one year and guides the actions and tactics in the market of a family in that fourth of the total of seven steps in, in our process. Imperative number five recognizes that things do not always go according to plan. Things change. It might be capital markets that change and require a change to the family's game plan, strategy. It might also be a significant change in the family's goals or circumstances. So it's important that these uh, plans be monitored and performance uh, and uh, plans be adjusted as required. Uh, the sixth imperative is advisors. The very, very important role of gathering around the family a group of trusted advisors, some with very specialized skills, some with very general purpose skills, but the common element is trust and expertise. And the seventh imperative is the whole idea of transition, engaging and educating the next generations of family. And that involves a family governance, that involves financial literacy, it involves education, it involves a distribution strategy to the family, to the next generations of the family. But all of this is not just for the current generation, but for the next generations uh, in the future. And so these are the seven imperatives that lead to successful family wealth management.